years I've been playing these five piano concertos by Beethoven. I hadn't really thought so much about the audience. I, I was making this journey for myself. This element of surprise and it's irrational. You don't know what you're going to hear in a few seconds. You can never settle down and it's maybe something for our restless society then. But he holds your hand and says, it's, it's going to be okay. You know, I've been through this struggle myself, this really human struggle and searching in this music. And then very often, or yeah, at least he tries to find a solution or a good answer to it. Beethoven revolutionized piano writing for sure in every piece. Uh, there is something new in every concerto. You get to the fourth concerto, you have wild passages. <laughs> You get to the fifth concerto, you have the first octave passage in history, you know. Every piano concerto in the Romantic Age would have an octave passage uh, showing the virtuosity of the performer after this, but Beethoven was there first. With the third piano concerto, Beethoven becomes for sure more daring. I mean, he didn't have the range of, of a modern piano, so it would go up to approximately to here and down to here. And, and he uses the upper note and the lower notes. Uh, he goes to the extreme, so the, the cadenza of the, of the third concerto. And then later on. He goes really all the way. And, and, and this was completely new. We always say that about the great music, you can never get bored of it. But do we really believe it? I mean, for me, this was a real test. Uh, I've played a lot of the same pieces now for, for, for three, four years, and um, I'm sure now I will never get bored of this.